Hello students, welcome to Sort of Sus classes. We are solving IIT Jam Statistics 2016 paper and the question that we have in hand is TXYZ equal to 2X plus Y plus Z, X plus Z, 3X plus 2, 2Y plus Z. It's a linear transformation from R3 to R3 and what is the rank of T? So T if written as a matrix is 211, 101 and 321. So none of these columns, so we know that rank is equal to column rank and so we will just try to find out the column rank. Now column 1 is not a scalar multiple of column 2 and not a scalar multiple of column 3. Column 2 is not a scalar multiple of column 3 and hence C1 and C2. This is C1, this is C2, this is C3. C1 and C2 are independent. So suppose A times C2 plus B times C3 is equal to C1. Here I'll just say C1 instead of saying C1 and C2 are independent, I'll just say C2 and C3 are independent. So suppose A times C2 plus B times C3 equal to C1. So A times 102 plus B times 111 is equal to 213 which implies a plus b b and 2a plus b is equal to 2 1 3 since b is equal to 1 a is equal to 1 and the third column is consistent 2a plus b is actually equal to 3 we get that c2 plus c3 is equal to c1 so C1 is a linear combination of C2 and C3 and hence rank is equal to 2. The correct answer is 2. Let us move on to the next, next problem. The value of limit n goes to infinity n to the power e to the power n times e to the power minus n cos 4n plus sin 1 by 4n is so this is equal to limit n goes to infinity n times e to the power minus n times cos 4n plus n times sine 1 by 4n. Now this is equal to limit n going to infinity n cos 4n by e to the power n plus sine 1 by 4n by 1 by 4n times 1 by 4. So <clears throat> I did sine 1 by 4n by 1 by 4n times 1 by 4 because we know this very crucial fact limit as x goes to 0 sine x by x is equal to 1 so this thing as n goes to infinity converges to 1 and this part converges to 1 by 4 so what we are just left with is limit n goes to infinity n cos 4n by e to the power n now Writing this out is this is less than limit n goes to infinity. I'll just write it down freshly limit n goes to infinity n cos 4n e to the power n. This is less than equal to limit n goes to infinity n by e to the n and greater than equal to limit n goes to infinity 
minus n by e to the power n this is because cos 4n is bounded by plus 1 and minus 1 now this limit goes to 0 as e to the power n by n goes to infinity as n goes to infinity and this limit also goes to 0 as e to the power n by n goes to infinity as n goes to infinity therefore by sandwich theorem we get that limit n goes to infinity n cos 4n by e to the power n goes to 0 and so this entire thing the entire limit goes to 1 by 4 this is the end of the question and next up we'll move on to the next question which says that let f from 0 to 13 closed to r be defined by fx equal to x to the 11 x to the 13 minus e to the minus x plus fx plus 5x plus 6 the minimum value of the function f on 0 comma 13 now f prime x is equal to 13 x square plus e to the power minus x plus 5 so x goes x greater than 0 implies f prime x greater than equal to 0 because all these terms individually are positive therefore the function f is an increasing function and f minima will be equal to f of 0 which is just 1 plus 5 I beg your pardon which is just 0 minus e to the power 0 which is minus 1 plus 6 which is equal to 5 so the correct answer is 5 for any queries or doubts please post it in the comment section if you like the video press the like button and subscribe our channel for more such videos thank you